It's back-to-back -back sneaker clashes, so let's call this round two. Welcome back, guys. It is that time of week again, so when you hear that bell, you know it's clash time. So today it's all about UNC, the colorway, the clash, the sneakers, the theme, it's all about UNC. We're gonna clash two really, really good sneakers together. But before we do that, go remember to like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to me, let's have a conversation, let's break it down and let's get you all that information to make your cops more effective. But let's look at these sneakers. It is Bang Bang, the Obsidian ones versus Bang Bang, the University ones. I told you guys, this is a special one. This is going to be amazing. Both of these sneakers are heat. Both of these sneakers are hype. And both of these sneakers are so desirable. I wanted them. I managed to get them eventually and both for retail. It was really hard to get these for retail in terms of what happened in certain occasions when I picked them up. But let's go and talk about these sneakers. Let's break them down. Let's go through the history. And I'll give you my favorite. And it will depend on not the colorway, but more the history because these two are equal I, from my perspective when you clash these together these are equal like i'm talking about just perspectives quality design both of these are equal but this goes down to how i got them and what left a better taste like i say better taste in my mouth than the other one but let's talk about it i'm not going to look at the box because the box is a regular jordan one box but let's take a look at these sneakers so the first contender is Bang Bang, the University Jordan 1. I've done the review for this, I think it's a couple of videos back, uh, probably a week back, go and check that out. This is a very, very phenomenal sneaker. The quality on this sneaker is amazing, like all this suede in the upper, um, the back paneling, the upper paneling here is absolutely immaculate. There are some glue stains, as you can see, through this, there are some glue stains, there are some scratches, there are the quality issues with Jordan recently have been playing on some of their sneakers, but this is such a good pair. Even the leather is really soft on this, as you can see, it's that tumbled leather. But as I said, I've done the review, go check the review out. But this is the first contender, the Jordan 1 University Blue. But from my perspective, a beautiful sneaker, desirable, amazing. I will be switching these black laces up. Probably gonna put some pink laces in because I've seen people do them. I love the way that actually reflects on the sneaker, but also white is a really nice colorway for this uh, in terms of the laces. Beautiful sneaker, just in general, like everything to, everything about this sneaker is just like a regular Jordan 1, but the quality shines on this suede. As you can see, it is soft, it is crazy. But like I said, the quality, the quality check on these let it down massively. Like you can see that little dash there and you can see that little dash there. That's the only thing that really lets this sneaker down. This sneaker actually came out in March. So I never expected to pick this up in November. I basically got out of bed, picked my phone up and it gave me the exclusive access straight away. So in terms of it was meant to be, it was meant to be, but eventually I managed to get this um, for retail off the sneakers app exclusive access random told me random who gets that but in March time when it came out I never thought I would pick this up because I literally forgot about it I thought you know what forget about it I don't really need it in the collection because I've got the obsidian ones but when they give you that exclusive access on the sneakers app you just have to take it because who ends up getting an exclusive access for a university one randomly i think it was a small exclusive access drop not like a massive drop for everybody it just randomly showed up on my phone and i picked it up and i was grateful but 
time, Jordan 1 smelled the best. Jordan 1s, Jordan 5s, and Jordan 6s smell great. Like, absolutely amazing smell. Uh, to be honest, every every brand new sneaker smells great if you're a sneakerhead. But yes, let's have a look at the sneaker. Let's have a look at the front perspective, that back perspective, that lateral side perspective, that medial side perspective, and that blue university blue soul. Look at that. Amazing, guys. And then let's give it that 360 perspective. As we always do on this channel, the 360 rotation twirl, that's what we're gonna call it from now on, that rotation twist and twirl. That's amazing. Good sneaker, good sneaker. First contender. Let's look at the second contender. Contender number two is, bang, bang, the Obsidian ones. Look at that. That almost looks like a black toe university blue. Damn, this is so good. This is amazing. This sneaker is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sneaker. This came out in 2019 and I was like, wow, I need this, I want this. And luckily enough, I managed to get this. So we know about the university blue ones. They came out in March and I didn't get it and I got it in November. I got the exclusive access, random, but this one has got way more history behind it in terms of how I picked this up. So let me give you details. I actually managed to pick up two of these pairs in 2019. Yep, this came out in 2019, guys. Managed to pick up two of these pairs. One of the first ones I picked up was for my girlfriend. She wanted it, size six. At that time, size sixes were hard to get. I managed to reserve it on Foot Locker, so I thought, you know what, I'll get it. And I go to the other Foot Locker near me to actually pick it up because we were having them in store. So I thought I can pick up a second pair for myself because I really wanted this, but my girlfriend wanted more than me, so she actually got a pair. And then I got to this Foot Locker store at eight o'clock and it was packed. Like I'm talking, there was a line right to the back. And at that point, Jordan 1s were being super hyped. Like I'm talking about the hype was just about to peak. And I thought I, I might be able to get my pair. Stood there, waited there and then it absolutely got ambushed. I'm talking about the store got ambushed, the manager got ambushed, he ran away from the store, not even lying. If you follow me on Instagram, I think I still got the video on Instagram way down on my feed, but he got ambushed, he started giving out raffles, they all ambushed him, took all the raffles, they nearly caved the door in, and I was there and I thought, this is not worth it. But before that situation happened, I was on the sneakers app, outside the store on 4G, mind you, and I put my raffle in, or I put my, they didn't have raffles in, but I put my entry in and waited five minutes and I thought, I ain't gonna get it. And bang, this popped up. <laughs> the gotten sign popped up. And yep, I secured a pair. I absolutely secured a pair. Beautiful, beautiful pair of sneakers. Like this is, Amazing. I'm, t I'm not even joking. The full leather, full leather is so good on the Jordan 1. This is all full leather. As you can see, it's plush. Let me take the insert out. Let me just take the insert out. It is plush as hell. Like, it is so soft that this is more tumbled than the University ones. This is more tumbled. Like, the University blue ones are tumbled, but these feel different. These absolutely feel soft and different. It's almost like it's just on the peak of quality control on the Jordan 1. There's nothing on this sneaker that I can see that is quality checked in terms of glue stains, nothing. I can show you, look, nothing on this sneaker is bad. Like, it is immaculate. This sneaker is way more meaningful to me than those University Jordan 1s because one, I managed to cop two, Number two, I copped them in line. Is you like, how, who cops a sneaker off the sneakers at outdoors in a mall when the reception is really bad? And number three, in the situation with the mall where I almost nearly never got the sneaker I wanted because it got absolutely ambushed. And from then on in 2019, no pairs of Jordan 1s ever sat. They all did the raffles. They all basically made sure you actually reserved your pairs before you went and picked them up because of that situation. But yes, this is a university one, as you can see. It's got that darker university on the back paneling. It's got that obsidian colorway at the front. So these are the obsidian ones. And then as you can see, the Wings logo is absolutely beautiful. And that's got that obsidian sole. So let's give it that front perspective, guys. That back perspective, that lateral side, that medium side and that 
So look at that. And then we give it that 360 twirl. We give it that 360 twirl. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pair of sneakers. Bang, bang. Now, let's put these sneakers against each other. In the right corner, we have bang, bang, the Obsidian Ones. And in the left corner, we have bang, bang, the Jordan 1 University Blues. So which one do you guys prefer? Overlay, underlay, underlay, overlay. Look at that, guys. These are the two contenders. Who's going to win this? We are about to find out. So let's look at the University Blue one quickly. This, as I said, came in late, eight months late to the party. Still arrived for retail, exclusive access. That means a lot. But then you have the Obsidian ones that released in 2019 that I waited in line for, that I basically got ambushed and I got these on Nike app before the exclusive access, before all the raffles, in line, outside the house, on 4G, in bad reception. What one wins it? Let me tell you from my personal opinion, this is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna give it to the Obsidian ones because to me, this is my ideal kind of sneaker in terms of full leather, laced up, just beautiful all the way through, soft, no quality issues with this. And then how I randomly won it is just a miracle and a half. Uh, this is a miracle, this is a semi-miracle to wake up to an exclusive access. But this one, I went to the store, lines up, the store got ambushed, and then I was able to still cop it on the sneakers app. And I still managed to get my girlfriend side so it has to go to the obsidian ones hands down guys this is a beautiful sneaker but from my perspective both of these are equal in terms of quality in terms of just the desirability the height the heat these are both heat sneakers but for me personally based on history and how i was able to cop the sneaker the obsidian ones has to win it for me guys this is the goat of the unc colorway in terms of the obsidian unc colorway this is like the black toe but not black toe obsidian toe colorway for the unc colorway itself but absolutely gorgeous sneaker. This is amazing. Don't discount the University one. These are beautiful in themselves. These are amazing sneakers. Like I will definitely wear this. I'm so glad and privileged to have these sneakers. Every sneaker I get, I am privileged to have. But the clash winner of today, it has to be the Obsidian ones. So there you go, guys. That's why I think, that's what I like, that's my opinion. But both of these sneakers are absolute heat and both of these sneakers are absolute hype. And to be honest, in the resale market, these are actually quite close to each other. I think these are going for like 350, 400 uh, pounds and this is going about 450-ish, I think still. These are, maybe it's 350, 400 still with the obsidian ones. I haven't checked recently because I don't need to check. But these two are gorgeous, gorgeous sneakers. So if you want to get either of these, you got to pay to play. Unfortunately, because of resellers have just eaten up the UNC colorways. But it's UNC year this year because these are magnificent pairs. I'm just so privileged that all the UNC colorways I've got recently are been all for retail, not resale. So I just feel privileged to have that. Um, hopefully you have the same luck as me going forward. And I hope all of you guys, ladies and gentlemen, have the same luck as I do going forward and picking up the sneakers you really want. Because when you have pairs like this, in your collection to wear anytime you want it feels great and especially if you're a sneakerhead it feels amazing but like i said guys just basically hope you enjoyed the review hope you enjoyed the clash this is the second clash i hopefully have some exclusive access releases or early reviews coming soon but let's wait for those and then when i get them in hand i will basically showcase but thank you for joining me guys as i normally say at this part of the juncture on this video i hope you have an amazing week amazing month and an amazing year and i hope you guys cop the sneakers you like and have all the best luck possible copying the sneakers you really want so for me tj at love kicks customs peace out guys